Hey, Dan here. Yeah, welcome to my vlog. This is Pro Project Chrysler. Hey, I'm gonna check that VAP sense, VAP, VAP control solenoid on this old. 04 Chrysler Sabring before I put it back together again because with it hooked up she, uh, the motor just shuts down I can't I can't keep it running so stay tuned all right so here we are I've got all my test equipment here um, this is your battery that's your ground those are also where you hook your jumper as you can see when I touch that I get I get my little I get my little light I test this one no nope, because it's already hooked to it so you're not gonna get you're not gonna get it there but if you hit here no, what are you doing? No, there we go I hate when that stuff happens. Come on. <laughs> Stay against it. Oh man, come on. Um, my nut again. Get my nut on here. Power on it. All right. All right. Try this again. Okay. No, that's not the one. There you go. Okay. Can I punch the power here? I should have power. No, we don't have power. Mm. Running crazy sometimes. Alright. You can see we got power, right? Yeah, we got power. All right, take care of that. Now, what I got here, this is the VAP control solenoid. What happens is when your fuel tank gets to a certain pressure, this opens. There's a, set, uh, there's a control valve in, in or around the tank that sets this off. So right now, there's no, it's, it's, uh, the solenoid is closed, and that's normal. So what I needed to do is make sure this actually worked. So I've got a I've got another jumper cable, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this pigtail inside, and then I've also got a spare wire which I have set to my battery, and if I touch it, I should get power. Okay, so what should happen is you should hear this thing click, 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 click. And that'll tell you whether this valve is good or not. So by holding it in here on that side of it, and then touching the other terminal, hear it? Click, 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 click. That means it's going up and down. So it's telling me this, telling me this valve is good. So I've got another problem. And that's all I needed to find out. I'm not sure how much that puppy costs, but it costs a little bit of money. And I just wanted to make sure it was good. And that wasn't my problem. So what I gotta do is I gotta plug this thing back in. It goes right down here. What I'm gonna do is get the plug back on it. Right here. Was right here. <laughs> Lost it. Okay, there's your plug. So that's a nice thing that to know that that is good. And it goes down and sits on that wall down there. There's a let's see it. Yeah. Out of my way. Yeah, you're okay. You're back there. Alright. Alright. My 
fingers out of the way. I'm working here. Okay. All right. And I might see where my hand is. It sits right on that wall right there. And then you've got two very dirty plugs. I got my hand. And those will go back on there. Really dirty. Yuck. Okay. Well, one of those lines comes right up here. Where are you? Okay. This is your um, crank crank case um, valve there, and the other one is this one here, and it goes right here. Now my problem is, the minute that happens. It automatically, the motor won't start right now. I know that for a fact. It needs, for some reason, it needs an extra thing of vacuum. So the minute I pull that line off of there, she'll start with no problem. And actually, when I found that, when I found that line, when I found, when I I actually found this line. It was actually sitting on that. Let's see if I get a better shot of that. Yeah. Right. yeah. It was actually sitting right here. And I don't know why. That's that's just a plug. And then you got the other one up here, which is wide open. And I don't know. I got to figure out what what's going on with it. Because when I pulled it apart, I didn't know I had these problems to begin with. So this is a whole different type of uh, intake than uh, the other one. That's a, that line actually goes to your brake power assist so anyway that's that that's how you check check to make sure that solenoid is good or bad so stay tuned we're going to continue to troubleshoot this and uh, we'll find out why it won't run without this little vacuum line open here